nice to meet you. I'm h e e s a n g m o o n the presenter of predicting activities of chemical compounds in graph neural network with attention mechanism. I will start the presentation. First of all, we research it to create a deep learning model that predicts molecular characteristics from its structure. The model consists of uh, multi-view learning that extracts local features and self-attention mechanism that extracts uh, global features. According to previous studies that considering bonds as well as atoms, gives more accurate results for predicting properties. So we have seen both the, the atom view and the bond view. Additionally, according to previous studies showing that considering both local and global features together helps predict characteristics. So self-attention was also adopted. We consider molecules to two perspectives, atoms and bonds. Therefore, the input is also divided into two representations. One is a molecular graph for atom view and another is a line graph for bond view. For nodes, edge and a bit adjacent metric of a graph they correspond to atom bond connection of atoms in molecular graph and they correspond to bond atom uh, connection of bonds in a line graph uh, basically the encoders use graph attention networks The difference is that nodes and edges are interchanged between the two encoders. Uh, through this, bond information can be added to the atom view encoder and atom information can be added to the bond view encoder. The self-attention mechanism transforms the hidden states from the, the atom view and bond view from the above multi-view learning uh, into query key value and then checks how much each node interacts with all the other nodes like this then the nodes are updated Uh, it checks interactions with all the other nodes, even distant nodes. Therefore, global features can be extracted. Uh, we use attentive pooling and focal loss for multitask learning due to the property of multitask. Each task has a different degree of imbalance, so we modified this uh, modified that can be used different alpha for each task. Finally, we will explain the results compared to previous model. The results are shown in the graph here. We achieved comparable results over existing models, especially in PBBP, Cyber, and CleanTalk. Our model achieved better results. Also, 
we conducted an oblate study. We checked what results come out when there is no atom view, bond view, and self attention. We found that putting all together means our model gave the best performance for all data sets. Thanks for listening to my presentation.